hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to discuss and show you one of the feature of the test ng right that is a retry analyzer so this retry analyzer we can use to rerun our failed test script why we need to rerun the failed test script so if our test script is getting fail so it's not due to the application issue or not due to the uh, scripting issue sometime our test is failing due to some intermittent issue so that's why here we are rerunning so that we can retry and recheck in the next execution so now so here the test ng provide a interface that is i retry analyzer which we can use to rerun the test so let's create a our class one class i am going to create like retry retry analyzer then i will implement here the interface i retry analyzer i retry analyzer has one method that is retry we need to implement this method by default this method return value false when this is returning the value false then in that case our test will not re-execute if this return the true then our test will run rerun until it's keep running the true let's use this retry analyzer with our test script so i have here one normal test let's use here so test ng test annotation provide a retry analyzer attribute click this and then use the class retry analyzer if i run this test you will see it's worked right not rerun again if i use this as if true and if i go and run the test again you will see only one time this is running right but let's make the test fail i added here assertion right so this assert will fail when we run the test then this assert will fail now let's run again here let's first return the false here and run the test here you can see it's not retried because retry analyzer lies are not returning the true test is failed but it's not retried now i am returning here true now let's run the test okay let me move this on the top so that we can see something on console because the test is keep running but not getting any output so let me run you can see it's keep printing because test is getting fail and it's continuously retrying so we need to give some uh, count how many times we need to retry right because by here we are returning the true so always it will return true but here we need to make sure we can retry with some given time number so let's implement so i am going to create a variable one is the counter its initial value is zero. Second is max retry suppose that i am passing two now here I will check condition if counter value is less than max retry. Let's start with one and we can use here equal one. So what we are using here if counter is less than equal to max try then we have returning true
and uh, tells outside of the if returning false. Okay. Now if I run the, then one more thing we can do here, increase the counter value. Now, if I run the test, right? So this will return two times true. And after the, when the I become counter become three, then it will return the false. So let me run and you will see it will run only two times. So run one failure, one skip zero retries two times, right? Both time you can see failed retry here, retried and test fail. And this is the first execution when test got failed. Now, here I'm using this retry analyzer on a test, but we can use this on a listeners, right? In that case, means we can retry by using listeners and then that listener we can provide in the test ng suit XML file so that we can, it will retry, it will apply all the test script which we are running from the test suits. Let's see how we retry by using the suit XML file. So in that case, we have I annotation transfer interface, which will help to change the features of a test class at runtime during the execution, which will change. So here, Transfer, annotation transfer interface will be helpful. So let's create inter, uh, one listeners. So I am going to create this retry listeners. This retry in listeners we need to implement I annotation transfer. Okay. I annotation transfer has one method. This is the transfer method. We need to override this method in our class, in our listener class. Let's Here we can pass option I test annotations. Next argument I can pass class. Then constructor. And then method. So uh, this transfer we can override. And here we need we can pass the over ch change the properties of class constructor are the methods. If we can register in Lizer, right? So we can set multiple values, which values are the test class attribute we are going to change during the runtime. We can apply here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to set the retry in Lizer in each and every methods. So let's set here, retry in Lizer, and then I can pass the class of the retry in Lizer. Right, so it will be automatically set the analyzer over the method. Now we can use this retry listeners in our testng suit file and then 
you will see it will work now in that retrain lies in the retrain laser we have mentioned two times retry so if i run the test then if the test is getting failed it will retry two times And this is available under the report folder com dot report retry in laser let me run yeah so four tests run and it's retry two times if i look here you can see this is the first retry this is the second retry and this is the failed and two times retried a retried marked here is skipped because that is not counted once it will pass it will count now let's see how we use these listeners with our test script let me use this with the selenium test Now I applied the retry in Lizer with the login test and let login test first run successfully, then make them fail. Successfully, that's why it's not retried. Let the login test fail and you will see it will retry. And I'm going to reduce the retry with the one time. We can change the value here, one of one. So it will run, let me less than and two. So in that case, it will retry only when counter value is less than max retry. Let me run the test. You will see it will retry one time after the test failed. Now here you can see test run and we can see total run two because two times executed, one is failure and retry one time. Okay, so now hope this will be very, very helpful to implement the retry mechanism in our framework for the failed test script. And if you like the tutorial, click on the like button, subscribe the channel and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and leave a comment if you have any query thanks for watching the video let's meet in the next tutorials of the framework series where we will discuss next concepts